those later game scraps that EDG has been favoring. The Gragas, as the final hover, does very well into the Jax. Ala has played it a billion times over the years. So you'd anticipate that being locked in as the final spot for EDG playing a tanky top laner, playing towards Uzi. And I feel like kind of going back to the- JJ has cleared his top side camps. He's not coming down here to cover this gank. Mako's trying to hold the wave here. Lien comes in though. The knockups are there, but Lien's in trouble. They have to shock, not quite enough. And Uzi gets first blood. Assume surely goes down as well as Bowlands taking the tower. Assume stuck underneath the tower. Uzi is chasing him. One more auto. No, the Q flies through. A double for Uzi and one for JJ. It's absolute curtains for RA. We're only three minutes in. Uh, the state of affairs. That first dragon will go over to EDG. It's a six minute dragon as well, so. Early stacking, potentially available. A wave will crash in the bottom side. JJ, not going to come and steal plate gold. Just going to keep on mentioning that. Lien is Fofo. He's found Baolan. And we know he's going down. Fofo grabs a kill. As Lien re-engages it. Mako has to flash away. Strive with a chain as well. Fofo the target for now. As Uzi is kind of alone on the top side. But they don't really focus him. And Strive's in Whoa. trouble instead. Uzi's just charging it on his own. Root goes wide. But the minion wave is moving on in. And Uzi's behind him. Featherstorm comes out. And the pull's going to be good. Uzi is smurfing on RA. It is brutal. My god. That was so 1v9 from forcing out one or two things. When you end up in a situation like this where a member is particularly fed on the enemy cool. team. That's four in the top lane, five in the bottom lane, one I think in the mid lane for now. I think they'll be able to get the fifth one up top as well. I'd love to take a look in the mid lane, see how many were on for Uzi. Across the map for EDG, yeah. 12 plates, that is insane. And now Ala looks for Lien, great little Everfrost there. The slow comes out from the barrel as well with a Brota belt coming on through. Fofo finishes off the enemy jungler. I, I don't want to say it. Questions that we had surrounding, you know, EDG and their ability to play the early game are definitely being answered here. And it just seems to depend potentially on their confidence, right? I feel like maybe he's actually going to get away with this. Doesn't even have to flash. But hey, no perfect game. RA get two towers for themselves. Zuzi finishes the tower in the mid lane as well. Oh, oh. triple pot blossom and looks for more as well. Two kills taken and the tower goes down. It's absolutely beautiful for EDG. Something that we could never see. <laughs> you know, and, uh, was it his flash called out? <laughs> <laughs> Ala started to play onto Lien here, but the entire gang is here. I think Ala may be getting a little overconfident of this one. Still surviving somehow. They're trying to give the kill over to Azum and finally do so. Uh, Ala, she's kind of doing a strive impression. <laughs> You know, I was going to say, I don't know what's more worrying. The fact that Arla found himself there or how long it took for them to kill Arla when he's not even playing tank dragons. No. Uh, speaking of tanks, Baoland's dead. I, actually, I said speaking of tanks, Baoland died a little bit. If they didn't, well, they didn't play. <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs> All right. It was awesome. God, that's the pro like, if you ever have a problem in League of Legends right now, just build Static Shiv. What, why does... You know, really it's on side though. And, uh, do you know, they may not have any static ships, uh, but they have feathers. And yeah. apparently feathers are really good at destroying. <laughs> do they throw their body at the Baron pit? Let's find out. Teleport's sure coming in from Arla now. Here we go, engage onto Baoland. Lien trying to disengage. Baoland flashes out with his life. Strive on the backside will go down here. Uzi with yet another kill. As you, uh, EDG. And it said UDG, <laughs> which kind of works. UDG. <laughs> <laughs> Stepping onto the Baron again. Lian, he would really love to contest this, but it's just not happening. And he actually might sacrifice his own life. Flashes away. And I actually don't know if it is going to be over 17 now because uh, RA don't look like they want to fight. Assume, what are you doing, man? Why are you still there? Knocked up. The Blasco will be followed. In fact, it's denied by Ala as well. Okay, it is going to be 17. I take it back. Yeah. I take back my take back. Oh, un under seven. Do. It's sort of like watching some of the Joker scenes out the Dark Knight. You can see the hinges turning. You can see <laughs> the cogs whirring in the brain. And they're like slightly wide eyed. You're not listening. Right, You're terrified. Right. Observers are kind of scary. Right click back and forth. Uh, RA now might just get dove. Tower's gonna fall, that's for sure. But what else will go down? Uzi finishes the tower. TP's coming out. And hey, it's a kill for RA. Maybe these are Doom bots after all. 
hey, I mean, look, two is 100% more than one as Xiaoxu finds oh. a double, double stun. The Feather Storm comes out and oh, Uzi yeah. somehow gets a kill with the outward burst of the Feather Storm. They're just going to end the game. Strive tries to find Uzi, but he doesn't get the shift proc. That is disastrous. The red buff is there. Bloodline is there. The Nexus Towers are bare. And it's EDG with some really great hair. I don't know. I couldn't think of a fourth <laughs> rhyme, but they are going to end the game yeah. and take this series 2-1. Yeah, that final game was a slaughter, wasn't it? There was nothing Ari could do after the initial dive goes the way it does. And then there's a re-dive on the opposite end from EDG. It's just too big of a gap. And Uzi...